once again, how many of you all are excited to be here today on this 31st anniversary? I mean, you're really excited. Hey, man. Uh, the man whom I feel is the greatest human being that God breathed breath into, Bishop Patterson, one of the greatest men that ever lived, a man of faith, integrity, and we have the greatest ministry in the world here at Temple of Deliverance, Church of God in Christ. Today is a special day of celebration, and uh, we're really not in a big hurry today because you never know what's going to happen when you come to Temple of Deliverance, Church of God in Christ. We are honored and favored today to have a young lady with us who is in the city this, this weekend as a part of a production uh, at the Orpheum Theater. And uh, one good thing about this young lady, uh, she sings uh, for a living, but she's saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost and a part of the Church of God in Christ there in Atlanta, Georgia, with Bishop Bobby Henderson. And she and her husband are here this morning sharing in ministry with us. And uh, before the orchestra comes, well, after the orchestra have, will have finished, then we will hear from our special guest, and the, the choir will come with the final number. But I'd like for you to join me in thanking God and welcoming once again to our service here. In fact, at, at this great celebration of our 31st anniversary, Sister Kelly Price is with us today. Amen. And to those of you who watch television, BT Gospel and the Gospel Shows, the Stella Awards, this is a singing young lady. She's anointed to sing and she's a saved woman. And we thank God for her being with us. After the auction will have come, we will hear a song of praise from Sister Kelly Price. Let's give her a hand and thank God for her.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. You can do better than that. We thank the Lord for being here today. We honor God because he is God. I thank him for, for being the savior of my soul. He is, he's my best, my best, my best friend. I honor God for being here today. I did not know that today was the church anniversary. We've been in the city and I told Bishop that I couldn't be here and not come by and spend some time with him. But I'm honored that I came here on this occasion to be able to celebrate 31 years of a ministry that has touched the world over. I am so honored to be here with you today. And what else do we say other than to God be the glory, amen? How can I say thanks for the things you've done for me things so undeserved you even came to prove your love for me the voice of a million angels cannot express my gratitude all that I am yes God and ever hope to be I owe it all I think I'll say it again. Oh, how, how can I say thanks for everything you've done for me? So many things, so undeserved. You even came. To prove your love for me, the voices of a million angels cannot express my gratitude. All that I am, glory. And ever hope to be, I owe it all, Lord, to Thee and to God be the glory to God. Yes, Lord, for the things he has done, just let me live, wonderful Savior, my life, and let it be pleasing, pleasing, Lord, to you. And if I gain any praise, let 
that you would anoint these lips of clay and let us speak as an oracle of Christ and not just as a man that some soul might be saved that somebody might be healed and we give you all of the glory now let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight O Lord my strength and my redeemer give the Lord a hand of praise and you may have your seats I shall not take up any time with preliminaries, but will move immediately into my message. I do not have a point of beginning. I shall not read a scriptural text, but we will flow into two or three passages before my discourse is completed. I said earlier that when we think in terms of 31 years since the inception of Temple of Deliverance, it began as Temple of Deliverance, the Cathedral of Bountiful Blessings Ministries, and many of you know that we started out as an independent body. But after 13 years, it was led of the Lord to return to the church of my nativity, the church of God in Christ. At the beginning of this ministry, and it really did not begin on this spot of ground, but it began at Holy Temple Church of God in Christ, 1254 Wilson Street. 1969, the Lord placed it in my spirit to move away from the traditional messages that I was preaching at that time because I saw so many people who did not really have the time as far as they were concerned to really sit and to listen as one would build a message from beginning to a point of conclusion. And we started on Tuesday night in 1969 to preaching messages that basically fell in three categories. There were three words that were used to define the ministry. Those three words were salvation, healing, and deliverance. If you stumble upon any of our literature from 30 years or more ago, you would find that practically all of it carried those three words. The first time we went down to what was then called Ellis Auditorium in the North Hall on the first Sunday in September, the year 1972. We called it the Lord's Day the Lord's Day of Salvation, Healing, and Deliverance. 
I believe right now, even as I did more than 30 years ago, that practically everybody who walks into the doors of the church, they need either salvation, healing, or deliverance. Preacher, what are you talking about? I had heard many ministries that had gone off into a single direction, preaching nothing but prosperity or preaching healing, but leaving out salvation. And the Lord gave me a revelation on the whole idea of salvation. What is salvation? Salvation is deliverance from sin. How do one get saved? If you picture it as a house, you've got to walk in through the door that is marked Jesus Christ. I do not believe that all of what God has made available to his people can be obtained by one unless you first come in the house. In this building, there's a corridor that goes all the way around the sanctuary. Yesterday, that corridor was filled. Our health and healing ministry conducting the semi-annual health fair. Once you come inside, there is a bookstore over here. There 